the OSS Handicap Hurdle is next. Another three mile hurdle, 0 to 140 this time. Top weight Waldorf Salad, Martin Leadham, add insult to injury. Joshua Sutherland, Feel the Fear, Craig Beckwith, Sharona, David Robertson, Ramon Madchin. Andre Hogan has also got the Rossmeister, Flamenco Dance, David Hooley, the Chain, Graham Clitterbuck, Vermod, and Just a Ride for Alex Cherry. Cottage One, Craig Beckwith, Tigers Caprano, and Bull Nakano for Matt Cooper's Good size field of 13. I thought there were quite a few three mile hurdles this week, so. Did want to get a few in this one? A short run to the first, and they get to it. And they're all safely over it with the grey Vermont, just the back marker. But the first one to show is Sharona. Short run to the second of the 17, and they're all safely over that one as well. Sharona settling down in front of the Tigers. Caprano is coming around the outside, and looks like that one's interested in a share of the lead as well. They get over the third, those first three flights coming up really quickly. As they Hint towards the next. It's going to be Tigers Cabrano that's going to be the leader. He's gone on by three or four lengths now. It's in Waldorf Salad who's gone into second, then Rab Madchen in the chain. Sharona's just dropped back on the rail. And the rest of them are really tightly grouped. With Cottage Wine and Bull Nakano just about two at this point. And it's uphill and down down this track. And Tigers Cabrano is in the lead by four. Waldor Salad second and Rabban Madchen on its outside third. On its inside Sharon is fourth and two wider are add all insult to injury in the chain. We just arrive after that one and then feel the fear. As they get to the fourth. All safely over that one. With Matt Cooper top and tail in the field. With his Tigers Caprano and his Bull Nakano. And they get over the fifth. All safely over that one. Clon Mill, just in case anybody didn't realise where we got. Quick dart from Newbury after the thrills of the Hennessy Gold Cup. I'm sure whether anybody has won Dell's double this week, I'm sure. Dell and Gray will be keeping an eye on that. The second leg was in the Derby. I'm not gonna mention anything about the Derby because I don't know what order any of you watch these races in, whether people watch the flat first or the jumps first or what they do, so you might not know. The flat results if you're watching these now. Apart from the fact that I think the derby was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, there you go, so you probably do know. Anyway, they're over the sixth. And it's Tigers Caprano in the lead. He's all a blur to me at the moment. And Tigers Caprano is over the seventh in the lead. And he's adding sort of injury second, just around his third. If anybody's interested, it's currently 5.45 a.m. where I am. So, I'm a bit bleary eyed then. Don't worry about it too much, but it's Tigers Caprano in front. We'll add insult to injury in second. And then Rabban Madchen and just a ride after that one with the chain. Feel the feel. Wardle Sound has lost his place and dropped back a little bit. And also towards the way the grey Vermont, just the one grey in this one. And it's Tigers Caprano. It's clear in the lead. About four lengths to Ramon Madchen in second. And insult to injury, feel the fear in the chain. Wall or salad with Sharon on that one's outside. Then just a ride is wide. And then Ross Meister on that one's inside. Wider still is Cottage Wine. Although that one is making a bit of a forward move now. Back three Flamenco, Dance, Vermont, and Bourne Nakano as they take flight 10. And the leader's lead is suddenly down to half a length as the chain comes up on the outside. Over the 11th they go. Look past the stand again and the big screen reminding everybody where they are. And Tigers Caprano is back into a two length lead from Rabban Madchen has now come through into second. With the home crowd, then the chain is third. Sheridan is fourth. Feel the fear after that one. And add insult to injury and cottage wine. The Rossmeister is next. Just a ride being pushed along. Wall or Sun has dropped right out, lost his place completely. Vermont and Bull Nakano are still the back two. Tigers Caprano being pushed into the 12th. From Sharona who just landed second ahead of Cottage One. Then Rabban Madchen at the 13th. And all safely 
over the 13th, including the back marker, Bull Meccano, short run to the 14th, just three to go after this one, and Tigers Caprano's in the lead, three of them queuing up behind though now, Cottage One, Sharona and Rabban Madchen, then behind that one, Flamenco Dances getting into it, the chain being pushed along as they get over the third last, and now the race is on in earnest, adding sorts of injury, is also being pushed into contention, coming round the outside, the Ross Meister isn't out of it either, and Wardour Salad looks like he's going to try and creep up the inside, but it's Flamenco Dance who's come from nowhere to take it up, Flamenco Dance from Cottage wine as they head down towards the final three and a half furlongs. And Flamenco Dance looks like he's gone for home on that one already. R Cottage wine is in second. Then the Ross Meister and Rabban Madchen had insults to injury is with them. Then the chain Sharon has dropped back just to ride his next wall. All sudden can't get through. They've only got two more flights to take. And Flamenco Dance a shot clear of Cottage wine and Rabban Madchen. Had insults to injury being driven along. Then the Ross Meister, then Sharon, and then Ward All Salad. They're coming down towards the second last. There's only a furlong and a half to go. And Flamenco Dance is the one they've got to get to. Flamenco Dance is still full clear. Over the second last. Gets away from it. Well, Rabban Madchen looks the only danger in second. Although I had the insults of injuries now starting to run on as the leader ties up. They're coming towards the final flight. And over it they go. And the leader went straight through it. And now it's adding insults of injury on the outside. He sweeps into the lead. But Rabban Madchen starts to fight back on the inside. Cottage one running on. But it's adding insults of injury. It's it from Rabban Madchen. Cottage one. Flamenco Dance gave it away at the last. And was probably beaten anyway though. Borna Cano stayed last all the way around. And it's another one for the champion trainer, Joshua Sutherland. He's miles clear at the top now. And wins that one pretty easily. Adding sorts of injury, the winner, Raven Madchen for Padre Gogan second. Cottage one, Craig Beckwith third. Flamenco Dance, David Healy fourth. And the Rossmeister for Padre Gogan again was fifth.